Hey everyone, it's Aaron Bassi here, Lead Product Manager at IOTEX, and I'm really excited to show you guys another release coming out of IOPay today. So this new release is actually an integration with the FIO protocol. So what this means is you're going to be able to use a crypto handle or a custom domain instead of your long string of numbers and letters you currently know as your wallet address. So it's not a completely replacing your wallet address, but it's more like linking a domain to your wallet address. So effectively, you're going to be able to send Joe, uh, Aaron at IOPay instead of that long, long string of letters and numbers. Aaron at IOPay would be so much easier to understand, use, no mistakes would be made. So these are issues that we see with the wallet address as it stands today. So as a result, this and many other initiatives are what we're working on to try to make things easier for the user to increase adoption of Web3 uh, and our suite of products. So I'm going to show you guys a tutorial and tell you a little bit more about what this means um, shortly here. So on the screen, you can see I, my IOPay setup here. So if you go to the top right, uh, you can click on that wallet icon and then hit FIO name. So this is where you set up your crypto handle. So I actually, uh, the first step to do here is to register and create an account. Once you've done that, then you can simply come in here and create a new handle. So an example would be for Neil at IOPay. So you can see here, uh, it would cost $2 USDC to uh, get this crypto handle. If you're doing this for the first time, we are actually doing it for free right now. So definitely recommend you guys go and get your crypto handle right now for free. So I've already used up my free one. So that's why it's trying to charge me there. But if I go into manage my fee of crypto handles here, click on Aaron at IOPay or whatever your crypto handle is. The next important thing to do is to link your crypto handle to your wallet address. So you're going to come in here, you're going to hit link. So I've actually already added my Ethereum handle and my IOTEX handle here, but I'm just going to show you how to do that. So you hit add, you're going to enter the chain code. So here would be IOTEX and then token code IOTEX. And then you're going to enter your current wallet address. So again, long string of numbers and letters, enter that in here and then hit link and link now. And that will link your um, new crypto handle to this wallet address. And like I said, you can do it for your Ethereum handle and your IOTEX handle, simply like that. Next thing I'm going to show you is how to send and receive tokens. So this is um, why this is so valuable. Is now, instead of typing that uh, long string of numbers and letters, you're just going to be typing Aaron at IOPay. And then not only does this, um, is it simple to add? It's actually going to, you can see right there, link to your full wallet address. And then you can see the check mark to ensure that this is a legitimate wallet address. So we see it all the time where there's like one digit left off of a wallet address. And next thing you know, um, that money is getting sent into ether, which to me and to a lot of users out there is a really scary thing. So this is one of the many initiatives that we have that is kind of trying to prevent and make things easier for the user. So we're very excited about releasing this to you guys. And then you're going to go and hit next there. Uh, and then the, that tote will send over to my other wallet. And then if I want to do it for Ethereum as well, I can show you guys how that looks. So you're going to go in here into Ethereum, hit send. Aaron at, at IOPay. There, and it's sense. So it's simple as that. I'm really excited to show you guys this. Thanks.